guys, it's Devin. Um, I moved my spot in my kitchen hoping, oh, sorry, hoping that the light would be a little bit more even right here instead of making one side of my face look one way and another side, you know, totally shaded. So I don't know how well this is going to work out. Hopefully it works out pretty good. Um, we will just have to see. So anyway, today I'm going to do a review on my Kate Somerville uh, skincare products that I received when I went to California. Um, for those of you who are new subscribers, um, to make a long story short, um, I went to California back in the middle of January. I was one of the six women who won a contest with Mally Beauty to go film an infomercial um, for her. And during that time, we were taken to the Kate Somerville Spa in LA and given um, a facial. Afterwards, we got a goodie bag full of everything that they recommended that we use on um, our face, individualized for each of us. Um, I've got a haul on that. If you guys want to go back and watch that video, I'm going to be going over all the Kate Somerville stuff in this video, though, so um, it's just up to you whether or not you want to go watch the other one or this one. So I've been using these products for exactly 34 days, so I can definitely give you a good review as to what they did for my skin and the effect they had on it. Um, I'm going to start by saying that these products, the majority of them, are extremely, extremely expensive. Uh, even more so than what I originally thought. I knew that Kate Somerville was very high-end and I knew that they were expensive products. I didn't realize how expensive until I was looking it up online so I could give you guys exact prices for these products. Um, I, I was literally kind of floored as to how expensive some of this stuff was. Um, I have never had very good luck, I guess, with um, products designed specifically for acne treatment, uh, like Proactive, um, and I think Neutrogena has one that's like a kit for acne. I've never had good luck with those. I do have combination acne prone skin, uh, combination oily. So I've tried a lot of the stuff and it's always just been too drying. I, I just can't even deal with it. My skin just dries out and it gets itchy and it's just not good. So these, the majority of these were strictly directed towards acne prone skin. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to try to make it as uncomplicated as possible because there are a lot of products here and a lot of steps, especially at night. So I'm going to start out with my AM uh, routine, what it was and go over what I thought about each product and what I think about each product with you guys, okay, and the price of each product. Wait a minute. Okay, I'll do the price. Sorry. I'll do the price afterwards of everything because there was one kit that had a few of the products in it. So I'll do the prices afterwards. Um, okay, so in the morning, as soon as I get up, I use the Kate Somerville Detox Daily Cleanser. And it's one of those lids that screws open and then you squeeze the cleanser out and then you close it. It's a yellow cleanser. It has a very... Uh, citrusy smell. It smells really, really good. Uh, I really like the cleanser. It works. Um, it, it removes, you know, everything that I have left over on my face. It makes my face feel really, really clean. I really do like the cleanser. I use it with my Clarisonic. Um, however, I was using Purity previous to this cleanser and Purity works just as well. So, there's that. Um, and then the second step was the Kate Somerville anti back Clearing Lotion. And this is a lotion that she wrote on my instructions to only apply to um, areas where I needed it, to where I was having only areas, you know, that I was having breakouts, kind of like a spot treatment. Um, you know, I mean, I guess it's just like any other spot treatment, except this did not dry me out. Um, the anti back clearing lotion did not dry me out. Um, I don't really think it did much either, though. So, you know, I, it didn't dry me out, but I don't, I didn't really see a difference with this at all. As a matter of fact, this whole kit, if anything, my face has been in worse condition the whole time I've been using it than it was 
previous to that. So, I mean, I've had constant breakouts. Um, every single day of the past 34 days, there has been at least two or three, if not more, pimples on my face, which is not normal for me. In fact, I usually only get, you know, I get a few during that time of the month and they clear up and I have clear skin for a couple of weeks out of the month normally. So this routine here has kept me constantly um, in breakouts. I thought at first that my skin was just purging because a lot of times when you try new products that will happen. Um, but it's been 34 days so my skin has had plenty of time to purge and go ahead and clear up if that's what the effect was going to be and that has not been the effect on my skin at all. So anyway, this was not drying at all but I couldn't tell a difference. And then the next step in the morning was to apply the Kate Somerville Line Release Under Eye Repair Cream. Um, I don't like this cream at all. It's runny. Very, very runny. I don't like runny eye cream. I had this in my missus, I think, for this last month. I just don't like runny eye cream, period. So, and I haven't noticed a difference. Of course, I don't have much, you know, to notice, but yeah, I don't like it. And then the Kate Somerville Oil Free Moisturizer is what I applied. Um, and the moisturizer, I've still got some on here from this morning. You squeeze the top right here. I don't know if I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to waste it because they are so expensive. But you squeeze the top right here where my fingers are and it comes out right there where that little hole is. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, this moisturizer is definitely oil free. It does not make my face oily. Um, it does sometimes sting a little bit though, which I've never encountered with a moisturizer. I guess maybe because it's specifically designed for acne. I don't know, but it does kind of sting my face a little bit. But as far as uh, oil free moisturizers go, I definitely, definitely like this one. Um, and then the last step is the Kate Somerville SPF 55 Serum Tinted Sunscreen. And it's just a regular sun tinted sunscreen. It's the pump. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but it's got SPF. Um, it's no better than my Neutrogena. I've got a Neutrogena SPF 50 or 55 for my face that I use. It's no better than that except it doesn't smell. The Neutrogena one smells. Um, the Kate Somerville one doesn't. Other than that, I can't say it's any better. The fact that it's tinted really doesn't matter because it gives absolutely no coverage. So the point of it being tinted is beyond me. Okay, so that is my morning routine. And then I take or I took, I'm out of them now, my AM packet of vitamins. Um, this box came with 30 AM packets and 30 PM packets of vitamins. Um, it's targeted nutrition combination for acne prone skin. These vitamins have vitamin A to support skin health, bromelain for inflammatory support, zinc for immune system support, MSM for natural antimicrobial action, and herbs with potent skin and blood cleansing properties. Um, I took these faithfully just like I've done the whole routine. Notice no difference. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to go back to my regular multivitamin and my fish oil and my calcium and vitamin D that I take. There was no difference at all. And then at night, this is where it gets kind of complicated. It comp I was confused the first week that I did this because I was like, okay, I literally had to write down a schedule. Okay, so at night I go in and I use the Detox Daily Cleanser again, just like in the morning, to wash my face with. It does really good at removing makeup. Um, you know, again, the Purity Made Simple does just as well. And then... I do one of these three products right here. Both of these I was instructed to do twice a week and not on the same night. So twice a week I use the Exfolicate Gentle Exfoliating Treatment and it looks like this and it's green and it smells 
just like the herbalism soap from Lush. Just like it. Smells just like it. Um, this she instructed me to use in the shower because the steam apparently helps the uh, enzymes or whatever. Yeah, the fruit enzymes, I guess. Uh, the steam helps it with the skin. Um, so you rub this on. You rub for 30 seconds to a minute um, while you're in the shower twice a week. I like it. It's a good exfoliator. Um, my skin did always feel softer after I used this. I've still got quite a bit of it left. Um, but it's not quite as abrasive as I would like. Now, you guys know I love abrasive uh, exfoliators. I know I don't need them. I know it doesn't have to be abrasive to work. I know all that. I'm perfectly aware of it. I just prefer the abrasive ones. Uh, like Ocean Salt from Lush. I love that one. That's my favorite. So anyway, that was twice a week. This was twice a week on different nights, and it's the clearing mask. She said this could also be used as just a spot treatment if I didn't want to use it all over my face. And this was another one that screwed out like this, and then you squeeze the product out, and you just apply a thin layer of this onto your face, and you leave it on there for five minutes for the first few applications, and then you build up to eight minutes. I was never able to build up to eight minutes because... Um, really really dries my skin out um, yeah so this was supposed to be done twice a week and then this was supposed to be done twice a week on obviously different nights and it is the Microlactic Polisher and what this is is like a liquid and I don't know if you guys can see I mean yeah it's, it's just a like a yellowish tinted liquid and you squeeze it into a um, cotton ball a little puff whatever it only takes two pumps for me to do my whole face. You apply it to your whole face, you leave it on for five minutes, and then you wash it off with warm water. Okay, so these two, the clearing mask and the microlactic polisher, dried my skin out so bad, literally for days after using them. My skin itched and it was dry and it didn't even, when I worked out, it didn't even sweat in certain areas. Like I would be dripping, I know this is really disgusting, but I would be like dripping with sweat everywhere else, but in certain areas, namely right here and right here, I wouldn't even be sweating. I, I felt like it was stripping my skin so severely that I knocked both of these down to once a week. Uh, my skin can tolerate that a little bit better. And then after I use one of those three treatments, I apply the clarifying treatment toner, which looks like this. Huge bottle. This is going to last like forever. I just apply it with one of those little cottony pads. And while it's drying, again, I use the Lime Release Under Eye Repair Cream. And I forgot to say, I'm supposed to use this in the AM. That's why I included it in the AM routine. I don't use eye cream in the AM, though, because when I use under eye cream in the mornings, it always makes my uh, mascara, it doesn't matter what mascara I'm wearing, it always makes it transfer, so I never apply under eye cream in the morning. So if you're having a problem with um, your mascara transferring, that may be... You may try that. Um, anyway, so then I apply, and this specifically says do not shake. The next step is to apply this, and it's the Eradicate Acne Treatment, and you can see it's separated. There's pink down here, and then there's clear up here, and you stick a Q-tip down, all the way down into it, and you bring it back up, and you just put it on active pimples. That's what you do with it. And I always let it dry for just a few minutes. And then the last step is to apply the Kate Somerville Deep Tissue Repair Cream with Peptide K8. Again, I've still got some left from last night, but it's the one where you squeeze it and it comes out of right there. I love this stuff. It feels so good on my skin, so moisturizing, not oily. I really, really like this stuff. Okay, so overall, um, definitely had to tweak the instructions a little bit because it really did dry my skin out. There are absolutely none of these products that I feel like are must-haves. I feel like I've used products that are way cheaper 
that are just as good and actually have had a better effect on my skin. That's my personal opinion. I um, will not be repurchasing or will not be purchasing any of these products. Um, I don't know if I made it clear at the beginning of the video, but every single one of these products were given to me for free at the Kate Somerville Spa. Um, so I had a chance to use them all for free. Not to do a review or anything. They were just kind enough to give them to us. I just wanted to do a review for you guys because um, she's a very well-known name, very well-known skincare, very high-end, and I wanted to let you guys know what I thought about it. So let me go through the prices of these things. You can always go to katesomerville.com, and it's uh, K-A-T-E. S O M E R V I L L E dot com, and all this stuff comes up. You can, you know, look at whatever you want to look at. So, um, the first thing I'm going to go through is the nine kit, and I'll show you what was included in it um, the toner, the anti back clearing lotion, the cleanser, the clearing mask and a little 0.5 ounce jar of the daytime oil-free moisturizer which I used up and I already threw it away. Those five products came in the Nine kit which is specifically designed for acne prone skin. That kit in and of itself is $125 on katesomerville.com. All these prices are from their website. That kit in and of itself is $125. The 1.7 ounce oil-free moisturizer, which I was given in a separate package, is $65. The 1 ounce Eradicate Acne Treatment is $22. The 2 ounce SPF 55 sunscreen is $45. The Okay, are you guys sitting down? Brush yourselves. The 0.5 ounce line release under eye repair cream is $125. I literally about fell plumb off the couch when I wrote some of these prices down and that was one of them and so is this next one. The 1 ounce deep tissue repair cream with peptide K8, 1 ounce. Hundred and fifty dollars. Guys, I mean, you know, I'm not Jennifer Lopez. I can't afford this stuff. I don't know, you know, some of you may be able to, and if you can, that is great. I highly recommend this. If you can afford 150 bucks, this is a really, really good cream. I, however, will be going back to my $38 vanishing cream from Lush because I'm not made of money. Um, I do highly recommend this, though, if you can afford it. This is the only thing that I recommend from the whole kit. Everything that I used is the only thing that I highly recommend. Um, anyway, so that's 150 The 1.7 ounce micro lactic polisher is $90. On the bright side, this will last like forever, if that's what you're looking for. The 2 ounce Kate Somerville Gentle Exfolicate is $65. And the 30-day Total Vitamin Clear Skin Supplement Pack is $85. So, that's the price on everything. That is my take on it. Um, I really appreciate everyone at the Kate Somerville Spa uh, providing me with those after I left, um, after I had my treatment done, because uh, I would never have tried it on my own because it is just entirely too expensive. Um, I hope this review helps some of you um, who can possibly afford this or who are, you know, looking for a better routine, maybe. I don't know. I just I can't recommend any of it except this and only if you can afford it. Um, you know, if you can't, the, there's creams that work just as well. Um, and I think that there are great products that work just as well as these, if not better, for way less money. So, unless you are Jennifer Lopez and you can afford to go have the facials and, you know, pay for all this stuff all the time, then I wouldn't recommend this. Not much of it at all. So, I hope this helps some of you guys. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.